Hey, I'm Melissa, and today I'm going to show you how to build a professional looking landing page like this one in under 10 minutes using Kit, even if you're just getting started. However, it's noteworthy that landing pages are designed and built differently than standard website pages. So here's the quick difference. A website includes a set of related web pages located under a single domain name, like witandwire.com. The pages are informational and can usually be browsed via some kind of navigation menu like this one. On the other hand, a landing page is specifically and intentionally designed around one key goal or call to action. So for example, it might be for a free call to action, like downloading a lead magnet or a paid call to action, like purchasing a template or course on landing pages. We want to minimize distractions and remove anything that detracts from that one clear goal. So one common strategy is to remove the navigation menu. That's normally found at the top of other website pages, since those options might lead someone away from your page and lower your conversion rate. Similarly, if possible, we typically simplify the footer on any landing page to just include the essentials like your legal pages. Now, neither of those options is required, but now when we build our landing page together, you'll see why it's so simple. And with that explained, let's log into kit and start building. If you're new to kit, you can create an account by visiting witandwire.com slash kit. From there, you can start a free trial and for transparency, that is my partner link. And you'll also find it linked in the description right now. I'm looking at the admin dashboard and I am under the grow menu on landing pages and forms. This is where you'll see analytics from all of your forms over time. And I'm going to click create new to get started. First, you'll need to decide if you're creating a form or a landing page. So let's briefly talk about the difference. A landing page will be hosted by kit and it will include a form where someone can submit their email address and join your email list. On the other hand, if you prefer to build your landing page on your existing website, maybe you have a WordPress or a Squarespace site, then instead you might choose form. And what you could do is create a small embeddable form that you can insert onto a page that you've built on your existing site. And that way, all of your landing pages are seamlessly part of your existing domain and brand. Both options have their own pros and cons, but I'm going to move forward with a landing page. This brings us into the template library where you can choose your starting point. Now, my recommendation is to choose a design that is known as an above the fold design. So what that means is that I can see the entirety of the page before scrolling on desktop or mobile. And I've put a few options in my favorites section. So here is a good example, Cypress. Let's click preview. You can see the entirety of this page without needing to scroll too far down. So I can see a header and description as well as the opt-in form. And then I have an image on the right and a background color. I think Cypress is a great choice. A counter example, if I go back to all templates might be something like Academy, and this might have a different use case, but if I load this page, I don't yet see the email opt-in form. I have to scroll down further until I find it down below. So my recommendation is for anyone creating a landing page for a lead magnet or maybe a newsletter, I would simplify and choose an above the fold design just because with something this bite sized, you typically don't need that long of a page in order to convert your subscriber. I think for today, I'm going to move forward with the Harrison design, but here's just a quick preview of six of the designs that I think can suit different lead magnets, but let's go ahead and choose Harrison. Now at the top, you'll want to give it a different name. So you might go ahead with the type and the name. So I'm going to be building a page for my own lead magnet called the email marketing toolkit. And along the right, before I click into anything, you can see general page styles. So maybe I'll adjust the header font and maybe for today, I'll go ahead and choose Roboto as one example, and you might also change the background color. So I have a few saved colors here and you can add your own brand colors in the profile area here at the top. So let's choose maybe my lightest blue and I'm not going to change the form background color. You can see it's white here, but maybe we'll make the border blue, or if you didn't like it, you could disguise it by turning it white. Now that my styles are set, it's time to customize the content. So here you can see an image, which in this design, I think is intended for a logo. And then we have a header and a paragraph. So what I'm going to do is just copy and paste in some text, 
by double clicking right into this header. And this one, I can just go ahead and type the email marketing toolkit, but then let me go ahead and copy and paste in a description. You might notice this plus icon, which does give you a few other text options like headers or lists, but I would guess for the most part, you're gonna stick with what you see in the template. And it is noteworthy that although I think Kit's forms are great for their simplicity, it is a bit of a double-edged sword. So for example, I can't add a section above or below. I can't customize where this image appears on the page. So when you choose your template, you will have to work within those confines. But I do think that Kit offers a great selection of those starting options. Now, speaking of this image, why don't we go ahead and replace it? So this template happens to have two images. I've clicked into the first one, and now you can see my side menu has updated to give me a new menu. So I am going to replace it with an image that I've already uploaded. Here's my image along the side, and I could add a second image here, but I'm actually gonna try to remove it. And let's go ahead and preview to see how this looks. As you can see, that placeholder has been removed and now my one image has been extended, which is what I'd hoped. And because I didn't add a logo, the placeholder is also removed. So I think this page is looking pretty good, but let's exit and talk about the opt-in form. By default, we have just the email address as the sole field available. But if I click the plus icon, I can see on the side the option to add another custom field. And in my account, I have first name as a kit field, but if you have an older account, this might not be included, but it is something that you can add if you'd like to collect subscribers' first names. And I do like to do that because then I can personalize my emails to say, hey, Melissa, and just add that personalized touch. Now, the custom field label just refers to the preview text here. So I'll just show you. You can see exactly where it goes. You might not need to change it at all but I'm fine with the rest of the styling. So the last piece I want to edit is I wanna hover over this hamburger menu and drag this up because I do prefer to have first name and then email address, but that's totally a personal preference. Next, let's talk about the button. So right now the text says subscribe, but I'm building a landing page for a free resource called the email marketing toolkit. So subscribe doesn't really go. So I'm going to double click and choose maybe download the toolkit, or that's getting a bit long, so download for free is another option. But what matters most is just making sure the call to action matches whatever page it is that you've built. You can also adjust the background color, so I'll pick a brand color here. And finally, it's up to you if you are on a paid plan, you can show or hide the built by kit badge. This page is looking pretty good. If I click preview, I'm pretty happy with how this has turned out. And if I click exit and publish, I would actually be good to go. I'll show you one more quick thing under settings. I can head first to general, which is what I'm seeing here, to decide what should happen after someone hits the subscribe button. So by default, they're shown a success message, but you could choose to redirect them to an external page. And that would be a good option if you did use the embedded form on your own site. Or if I click cancel, you can actually add a page and this creates a thank you page. I added just a bit more text and now under settings, I can change this to redirect to the thank you page that we've just created. I also wanna talk about the URL that leads to this page and you can adjust that under domain name. So every kit account has a custom domain that uses their root domain, kit.com. So I could create a page URL that uses this as the starting subdomain. And maybe I do email marketing toolkit and I'll click add. This is now the direct URL to this landing page. And I can share that through my social media or via my website, wherever I see fit. However, if you don't wanna use a kit.com URL, you can head to the account settings and set up your own custom domain or subdomain. So I just wanted to point that out. You might also choose to adjust your SEO settings. So we've got our page title and description here, and I'm gonna go ahead and click save to lock in those changes. Under publish, you might wanna just save anything that you might've updated. And then when you click share, you can see a link to copy that URL, the same one that you just saw me create before, and now you're ready to start sharing.
If you want to learn more about how to create a great lead magnet and set up the entire automation from start to finish, you can also check out our full mini course, the lead magnet blueprint linked below in the description. You can also get started with kit by visiting witandwire.com slash kit. And if you enjoyed this video, I hope you'll give it a thumbs up and subscribe to wit and wire for more online business tutorials. While you're here, here's another video I think you might enjoy.